In this video, we're going to see how to perform a multiple logistic regression, an analysis when we're predicting a categorical outcome on the basis of several continuous or categorical predictors. For this example, I'm using the carpool dataset available in the sample data directory. To start this analysis, we'll go to Analyze, Fit Model. For this example, let's say we're trying to predict the type of car somebody will buy on the basis of sex, marital status, and age. I'm going to cast type of car into Y as my outcome. Notice that jump automatically changes the personality to nominal logistic since the outcome variable of type is nominal. To add model effects, or the predictors in this case, I'll take sex, marital status, and age and click add to cast them as model effects. When I click run, jump will produce the nominal logistic regression, including for us the whole model test of the overall predictability using the whole set of factors, as well as individual parameter estimates and effect likelihood ratio tests. If you're interested in the walled test, as well as other output, these can be found under the red triangle, selecting the output you would like. I'll turn on the walled test as well, which will be entered at the bottom of my output. To save the predicted probabilities to the data table, we can go back to the red triangle and select Save Probability Formula, which will create all the necessary columns to predict for any given person or any given observation the most likely type of car they're going to choose to buy. To interpret the effects of the given variables we used as predictors, we can go back to the red triangle and select the profiler, which allows us to diagnose visually the effect of these given variables on the outcome variable, the type of car somebody would choose to buy. The probabilities, or proportion really, the model is predicting of individuals falling into a category are shown along the left. In the prediction profiler, we can also select different levels for each of our variables to see the effect it has on the probabilities predicted for type of car. Notice for males, there's a higher probability of purchasing a sports car than for females. Also, for single individuals, we can see a much larger proportion choosing sporty than family cars. And also for age, we can see the effect of this continuous variable on the predicted probabilities of falling into one of these categories. 